Hello everyone, Brett Darian here, and what you are looking at is a scale model of the DeLorean time machine from the Back to the Future movies, uh, more specifically Back to the Future Part 2 according to this box. Now I have never actually seen one of these before, I have seen other models, you know, like die cast models of a DeLorean, but I have never actually seen one like this that was this big and had these other features like all these real sounds and and clips from the movie and also lights and opening door and all that stuff so this was really detailed and so I saw this at FYE and decided to pick it up because I am a big fan of the big uh, I am a big fan of the Back to the Future movies and so I was like well Never actually had my own DeLorean before, so I decided to pick this up and decide to show you guys. So first, let's have a look at the box. Right here in front, it tells you all the sound clips that are in the uh, the toy. So it includes all the following sounds. First time travel, the car trouble, revving up and winding down, opening door, rev up and peel out, the engine startup, return from time travel, return from time travel to a screeching halt, time circuit engaged, and no power. So all those sounds are in the toy. You can hear them. It's got Back to the Future logo in the front. This is a 1 15th scale, so it's pretty large. I mean, this is, I mean, that's the top of it right there, and that's, that gives you an idea. It's a pretty large model. This is the side of it. This is the front of the car. It says Back to the Future 2. And this right here. Uh, I don't know if you can see that, but up here it says these are the time machine components. It includes a plutonium. Maybe, maybe put it back there. It says plutonium powered flux capacitor, time circuits, an input keypad, 304 grade brushed stainless steel time machine body, stainless steel flux flux banding system, an alloy, light alloy V6 2.85 liter engine, 5 speed mounted transmission, and a 1.21 gigawatt electrical system. So it's got all this stuff, and this is the back. It gives you a little more detail. This is how the car will look, and these are the lights that it has. It's got something here. It's got some lights here on the, uh, uh, the bumper. It's got some on the top that also run down. And a little description, it's got a couple pictures here, the seat belt, and the time circuits right there. It's got a picture of that, and there's a picture of the engine in the back. And it even has the, uh, the tag in the back that says, out of time. So prepare for the adventure of a lifetime, because once you reach the 88 mile per hour temporal displacement threshold, there's no turning back. Featuring the classic car, Featured in one of the best movies in modern history, this scaled Back to the Future time machine replica recreates the the, uh, the iconic vehicle re responsible for turning Doc Emmett Brown and Marty McFly's worlds upside down. With advanced light-up effects and sound clips from their first big screen adventure, buckle your seatbelts, fire up your flux capacitors, and discover what it really means to go back to the future. That's what all that says. Now it says their first adventure, but the box says part two, so I'm not not exactly sure what it means by that. That might be a little error, but but regardless though, this is the DeLorean. This is what it looks like. So now let me just open this up because I've been waiting to do that. Uh, let's see. I should have brought a knife with me or something because I don't have one here with me. I might just have to use. I just have to use a key to see if I can dig into it. That might be able to open it. There we go. Right. Let's see. Yeah, there's some tape on the bottom here too. Bear with me. Alright. 
Here we go. There's probably tape everywhere in here. There's the back of it. Now let's slide her out. That box even has some flames where the tires are at because it catches fire when it, you know, when it time travels. That's cool. All right, and here we have the car. Let's see if it'll come right out. Yes, there's no screws to undo. Back to the Future 2. Merchandise from Diamond Select. So that's who manufactured it. So this is just... Ah, oh, okay. Looks like they manufacture other models of it as well. Mini Mates. Oh, I didn't know this. They also got a Back to the Future 3 rail model. And also a Back to the Future 3... Oh yeah, the older time machine with the uh, with the old the old clown tires on it. There we go. And this is probably the instruction manual. Yes, pretty basic. Replacing batteries it takes three double A's, so pretty standard. Press the button on top of the car as shown to cycle through authentic Back to the Future movie sound effects and light sequences. Press and hold down button for three plus seconds for special time travel sound effects and light sequences. That's pretty cool. Start up. For proper car function, the car must be taken out of try me mode. Yes. Please note the three way switch has three settings try me, off, and play. Alright. Well, that sounds simple enough. Let's see. We have some tape here on the bottom. Be where the batteries go. go. Alright. Okay, so let's have a look at the car. So, again, we got the out of time. We got the out of time tag on the back. Sorry, I have the, the camera mounted on a tripod, so I can't give you like a tour of the vehicle. But I can open up the door here. We can have a little peek inside there. Hopefully you can see some of the stuff in there. There we go. It's got a little... Man, there's the time circuit switch in there. <laughs> there you go. And back there is where the flux capacitor is. Uh, I don't know if I can see it very well. It's pretty dark, but I think it's back there. All right. So that's that side. Let's look in the passenger side real quick. Maybe we'll be able to see some other stuff down there. There we go. There's a view from the other side. Seat belt there. I thought they were actually like seat belts, but they're just painted on. Here's the manual transmission. Now, unfortunately, none of the parts inside actually move. They're not, they're not actually working parts, but still, though, it looks good. And this is the engine part. That's the motor in the back. And this is the switch for actually making the sounds work. I thought the door sound may actually happen if you actually open the door. That'd be pretty cool. But, well, no, you just press the button to hear all those sounds. Now, the car does move around. And I think the hood opens. Yes, the hood does open. And that's where the batteries go. And there's the switch. Right now it's in try me mode. And now it's in play mode. 
So there we go. Now, I, I would play all of the sound effects, but because of YouTube's copyright bullcrap, I really don't know if I'd be allowed to do that. Um, but I'm just going to play maybe just one clip and give you an idea of what it sounds like, and hopefully that will give me no trouble. Um, let's see. Let me just press the button here and see what happens. Okay, well that should be fine. And yeah, you can see the flux capacitor in the back there is fluxing. <laughs> And the lights in the back were lighting up too. There we go. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. I thought there were actually may have been like voices from the movie, but but no, these shouldn't be a problem. They're just sound effects. All right, let's see if there's any more. Let's see when I let's see what happens when I hold it down. Oh yeah. yeah, that's what happens when it takes off. You get 88 miles per hour. It's like it was trying to start there, and it wouldn't start. And that was the no that was the low plutonium warning, I think. So yeah, that gives you an idea. The actual sounds from the movie. And it moves around. It's like the tires, the back tire needs to be adjusted. There we go. But yeah, there we go. My very own DeLorean. Yeah. It's very awesome. I'm very glad to have this. I'm, like I said, I'm a very big fan of the Back to the Future movies, and I saw this, and I just had to pick it up. So, so yeah. So if you see one of these, and you're a Back to the Future fan, I mean, I mean, it's a no-brainer. Go pick it up. It's pretty cool. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. Hope you all enjoy, and I'll see you next time. You all take care, and thanks for watching.